What's going on YouTube? This is Sick Eric back again with another video and today we're going to be going on how to Android pixelize your Samsung Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus and what this is going to, going to involve is just downloading a theme that is the Android P theme that is compatible with the Samsung Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus as you can see my quick settings is changed my regular settings is all changed to resemble Android P. Home button is changed. Even the sounds, touch sounds has changed. Icons is changed. Uh, dialer. Everything is changed to resemble Android P. And I'm just going to be showing you on how to and where to get this theme. Install it. Uh, I'm also using Nova Launcher with a couple of extra widgets that I will post and link down below links in this in the uh, description down below so let's go ahead and jump down into it so I'm gonna go to my Google keep open her up and then uh, first thing you're gonna want to download is a D DNA theme from XDA this is not my uh, doing somebody created this theme and it is the DNA Android operating system P and this is a really really nice theme this is the developer um, preview but everything does work as far as I know so far I haven't had any issues of course I've been running this for uh, less than a day now and I'm loving this theme it just looks amazing this is better than the uh, regular pixel themes that you would find on the Samsung theme store and you're gonna want to scroll all the way down here's a change log for that and then you're gonna scroll all the way down right here until you get to the download side which is on attached files you're gonna to want to click that and it will download the theme they also have a black edition coming out soon I cannot wait to see how that comes out but yeah there's also a whole bunch of feedback on uh, if there's any problems or anything great site um, if you want to check that out find out all the information you want about this theme so once you're done with that um, you're gonna to want to make sure you have a launcher installed Right now I'm using Nova Launcher uh, just because I like the customization of it. Go ahead and check that off. But um, we'll go ahead and jump to that in a minute. So once you're done download, downloading the theme, you're going to want to install it. It'll prompt you, you know, once you're done installing, uh, downloading it, you're going to hit install. And um, just pretty much install the theme. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to go into your Samsung theme store. And you're going to see it up here, as you can see right here, mine says DNA. I'll give you a couple of previews of what it looks like. First thing you're going to want to do is, if you're not on the original theme, uh, you're going to want to switch back to a stock theme. So when you're done, switch back. And then now you're going to want to go into DNA, and you're going to hit Apply Trial. Now this is not a trial, it will stick and you won't have to worry about it it's just what they do when they make a theme it looks like it's a trial so you're going to want to hit apply it'll go through everything once it's at 100 percent you're pretty much going to go home and you're going to reboot your phone that way if anything is left over that needs to be themed out it will get themed out once you reboot your phone and then um like i said it, re it does your icons it does your um clock on your lock screen as you can see all the system icons really really nice theme I'm really enjoying it it looks really really awesome uh, the deep ass Android P theme I have found so far so next thing you're gonna want to do is download a launcher so right now like I said I got Nova launcher you could download that or you could download the Google pixel launcher I'll post links for both of them that way you guys can check out which one you want. Um, Pixel Launcher I have on here, but for some reason I can't get the uh, Google Now. When you swipe on over to the left to work, let me see if I could, uh, see when you swipe on over it does not bring up Google Now. It has every other option, all your gestures to swipe up, swipe down. 
and everything included. It's just I cannot get that Google now. It was working when I first installed it, but not anymore. So what I use is Nova Launcher. And this has the same effect. Swipe on over. And in order to get that, you're going to want to uh, download the Google Now Companion. As you can see right here, like I said, links in the description down below. You're going to want to make sure you're using Nova Launcher. And then you're going to download Google Companion. Install the APK. And you should be ready to rock and roll. So for your settings, um, integrations, you're going to want to go into settings and integrations and click that on for the Google Now page to come up. And um, then it will work. As far as any other settings go, uh, your dock, you want to make sure your search bar is in the dock below the icons. And as far as your app drawer, you want to change all the colors. Background color to white, of course. Transparency at zero. Uh, for your folders, you want to do folder background, pixel launcher. And then your background is going to be white. And everything else is all subjective on what you want. Look and feel. Your icon pack, you're going to want to click the icon pack and hit system. And gestures, as you can see right now, I have a swipe up gesture. And that brings up all my recents. Sort of like the Google Pixel or Android P. And swipe down, of course, your notifications. And then swipe up on your app drawer. And for the swiping up gesture, you pretty much just go into settings, gestures, and then swipe up. And then you're going to want to click recent apps. And that will change that part of that. So pretty simple. Nova Launcher, when you go in to set it up and you first install it, uh, it'll go through some install steps. You're going to want to hit Immersive and then the swipe up gesture for your app drawer. And then everything else you would change in the settings once you download it and have it running. So it's pretty simple. Like I said, pretty easy. Now we got it out of the way. Next you're going to want to is install a widget called Vizwork widget and what this pretty much is is a customizable pixel widget that allows you to do it's uh, updated to the new Android P search bar old search bar older search bar different types of search bars you could change the color uh, what you have on there the font a whole bunch of customizations and uh, it's really really nice widget because I found that the regular Nova Launcher um, still had the old school search bar at the bottom. But it will install that once you click search bar in dock. So what you're going to want to do is long press it and hit replace. It will bring you up all the different types of widgets that you can replace it with. You're going to want to scroll all the way down to Vizwork. And you're going to click the search bar. And then click that. And then once you're done with that you can go into your... Visual widgets and you can customize it fully when you uh, hit the um, so you could make it to where it separates the um, the search bar to look like the Google Pixel widget as you can see right Sorry, there. I don't understand. Now I got Google going off over there. So pretty really really nice, really simple. I really enjoyed this widget. It looks better than the original stock widget for Nova and like I said pretty easy to, to do so now we got that out of the way uh, next thing you're going to want to do is download Google wallpapers so of course that is on the Play Store has a whole bunch of different types of landscape wallpapers that you could choose from as you can see right here you got landscapes you got seascapes art cityscapes and what I have is the old school live wallpaper and you have those available as well. I have the Walk in the Clouds one. And that is my look for my phone as of right now. And the cool thing about this theme, it does change all your icons up top in the status bar as well, as you can see right there. Really, really nice theme. Enjoying the hell out of it. So next thing on the list is going to be home screen gestures. And like I said, it's a gesture to swipe up 
for all your recents. And what you're going to do is just go ahead and go to your settings. And you're going to go to gestures, which I think I just showed you. Swipe up. And you're going to want to hit recents. Pretty simple. Pretty nice. Pretty easy. Pretty easy to do. So next thing on the list, and that is pretty much it, guys. Oh, yeah, next thing on the list is going to be changing your always on display. As you can see right now, it is the simplified version of the always on display to resemble the Google Pixel. So what you're going to do is just go into your settings really quick, go into display, and then always on display. Click clock and face widgets. Clock style. And you're going to make sure you're always on, always on display. It's going to be the second one on your list. You're going to hit apply. And now you have your always on display, simplified version of it. And you're ready to rock and roll. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Pretty easy, pretty simple. And you will end up with a pixelized Samsung Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. Really nice. I'm enjoying the hell out of this theme. No issues so far. If you got any questions, post them in the, com in the uh, comments down below. I will try to help you guys out. If you got any problems, links will be posted in the description down below as well. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Don't like it if you didn't enjoy it. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit that little notification bell. Peace.